Literally, who uh, would feed a wolf? Who would feed? Yeah. We're in wolf country. Cool. Good morning, guys. We are at the San Josef Bay recreation site. This was our free abode for last evening. It's gorgeous here. There's like tons of these giant ancient cedars. Like, I don't know if you can see the one back there, but it's huge. And there's like trees that are growing off of them that are like the size of regular trees just because these trees are so massive. Anyways, we are heading to San Josef Bay today because we are gonna start our backpacking trek up to Cape Scott. So if you don't know where Cape Scott is, it's at like the very northern tip of Vancouver Island. Google it, it's very remote. We don't have like signal or anything. We had to drive on like a 65 kilometer potholy logging road to get here. But we're super excited because we're gonna be camping along beaches like right the northern tip on the ocean. It's gonna be amazing. There's probably gonna be a lot of wildlife, so we're also a bit nervous. But once we get beyond that fear, I think it'll be a super cool experience and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys. So we're gonna hop in the car now and head over there. We are off. We have our packs all packed up. We did it last night for once, which was fairly responsible of us. And we, uh, we have apparently, that sign said 17.4K to Nell's Bite, okay. which is where we are staying tonight. So it's going to be We're a bit of a hike. Wall. It's going to be a wet hike too, because it's all like tropical forest around here. But eventually we will get to beaches. There's some sites along the way that we'll see. We're not going to explore San Josef Bay today because it's starting a bit late for that. I'd rather get to the campsite early and explore around there. So here we go. Literally, who uh, would feed a wolf? Who would feed? Yeah. We're in wolf country. Cool. Atlanta caught a tree. Keep holding it. I'll go get help. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Just no. hold just hold it there for a sec. Just ran into a couple of park operators who you are just. You can probably hear the chainsaw in the background. You can probably hear the chainsaw. They're just maintaining the trail. They're staying at Nell's Bite tonight, too. One of them, they're actually taking turns. She was collecting. Slalom. No. Slow. Sl we already forgot. It wasn't slalom. Slal. Salalo. Salome? Salome. I think Salome. Salalo berries. Something like I that. I think it's Salome berries. And she's making jam out of them. And these are them right there. That like green guy, but that one's not ripe. I'm trying to find ripe ones. Oh. So here's what they look like. And she gave us one. And it kind of tastes like a cranberry blueberry mix. So now we know that we can eat these, which is pretty cool. And those are some unripe ones there.
Alana seems to attract grasses. Flashback to Pukasa. Oh, there's literally a baby grass there too. So you're gonna, ah! you're gonna get attacked by another angry grass, angry mama grass. She kind of looks like it. I don't know if she's a Susan though. No, nah, she seems chill. Right behind us, where we're standing, pretty much. I just hit myself in the in face the middle with a of pole. nowhere. In the middle of nowhere, we're probably about three and a bit k yeah. from Four Nell's k, bite. Yeah. There's like remnants of this old settlement home, and apparently there used to be a community of what did it say, like two hundred people? Yeah. And there was a schoolhouse here that used to have like 25 to 30 students, and that was in 1910. Like what? This is the middle of nowhere. You are so isolated out You're here. So, I think the only thing that was there at the time was uh, in Coal Harbor, which is like at the, we're kind of at the northwestern tip. It's at the northern tip of the island, and that was like a military station. And other than that, like, Canada basically at one point was like, hey, you guys can go settle like up here because no one we're a pretty here. new country and no one lives here. And then I think Danes came and settled here and they were like, there's too many Danes here. So we're going to strip the Danes of the land and then open it. We're going to open it to public land, but just for like single people who are interested in plots of land. So as to not get a single nationality settlement here. Canada is so weird sometimes. Like, why? <laughs> We're walking through the forest, and it's like that rainforesty vibe. And then you get out here, and it's just meadows. And you can tell this is where the settlers they tried to create an agricultural industry here, but the roadways and transportation were not good enough to make money off of it. But uh, it's crazy. Like it. it it completely, it's just completely changed from the forest into this like vast expanse here. So I'd imagine he was, the guy who settled here, one of the Danes, was pretty surprised when he came up here and just saw like meadows. He's like, oh, well, I'm Danish, I guess I should farm this. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> one of the guy's names was Nels Nelson, which is amazing. <laughs> well, it's starting to smell like seawater and you can hear the white noise of the ocean. I think we're getting close to the beach. Woohoo! Woohoo! They blow their freshness to you and the storms their energy. Nature's peaceful flow and all of your cares and worries will drop off like autumn leaves. And you never forget the magic of Cape Scott. Oh, I thought you feel alive. Yes! Made it to the ocean! Ah, this is incredible! We get to sleep here tonight! Insane! My god, this is amazing! Ah, that cold ocean breeze! That fresh ocean smell! Love it! Oh, oh, that feels so good. Whoever made the hammock here, yes. Although, it's not very big. I think it was made out of like netting that drifted in off the coast, but still. Like it's Great made with Kennedy. like driftwood and drift netting. So, sweet. I gotta try this out. Ah. Back to camp. <laughs> I'm waiting! <laughs> Easily the coolest place we have set up the tent. Look at this! It's amazing! I can't believe this is our campsite for tonight. And there is only two other people on this beach. But it's pretty much a private beach. 
So if you want a private beach, you just gotta hike out almost 18K and you'll find it. <laughs>